Okay, I want us to take another one. This one was taken from November uh, 2015. You can see that the style of setting is almost the same. As long as you know that you take your formula, whether it's x, you push in x plus h first, then you subtract f of x. So the first thing that you need to take to copy it is the correct formula. f of x is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h minus f of x. This is all over h. I've de deliberately written a formula like that. And as, as soon as I write it, you must be, p be able to pick up what is wrong with that formula. This formula is not indicating that I'm looking for the derivative or the gradient. So if you don't have that prime, then the formula is wrong. So make sure that you copy the correct formula. All right. Where there is x, there is x plus h. Where there is x, I've got to push in x plus h. There are two places where I've got x. Once I'm done with x plus h, I'm going to subtract f of x. Wow, this is my f of x. This is my f of x. So I'm going to subtract it once I'm done with my x plus h. Remember that uh, x is in two places, here and here. I'm going to have 2x plus h first. Once I'm done with x plus h, then I'm subtracting f of x. So my f of x prime, my average gradient will then be equals to the limit as h approaches 0. I'm dealing with this now. Where there is x, I'm pushing x plus h. So it's going to be x plus h. How is this x? It is squared. I still have another x, so it's going to be minus 3 into where there is x, I push in x plus h. We no longer have x's here. I can now subtract my f of x. What is my f of x it is make sure that you're putting it in brackets it is x squared minus 3x if you don't put it in brackets this will remain negative it is important that what you substitute it must be in brackets this is all over this is all over h it's the same story again okay, where you go back to your grade 8 grade 9 and, and get assistance from there where you square this binomial f of x prime will then be equals to the limit as h approaches 0 x times x it is x squared x times h xh double that it's going to be 2xh then h times h is going to give us h squared let's break this other bracket this times that it's going to be minus 3x minus 3 times h is going to be minus 3h this times that is going to be minus x squared. This and that is going to be plus 3x. This is all over h. Remember one thing, you can tell the answer before you even do the problem. The answer here should be uh, 2x minus 3. This is the answer that you must get at the end here. Let's work it out. You can see that x squared minus x squared give us 0, minus 3 plus 3 give us 0. How many terms left? 1, 2, 3. And all of them have got h, and I've got h here. Then I can take h as the common factor, the limit as h approaches 0. If I take h out in the first one, what are we going to be left with? With 2x. If I take h there in the second one, divide this by h, it'll be left with h. This next one, you'll divide this by h, it will be left, will be left with minus 3. This is all over h. Ah. So, so, they divide there. But h tends to 0. Whether it's h, you push in 0. So if you push in 0 there, our f of x prime will then be equals to 2x minus 3. That is our solution. Exactly what we said we'll have at the end of the day. I want us to move on to another problems which are a, a fraction, for example. How do we deal with that one? 